In this video, Kevin and I are going to be going over our likes and dislikes for the month of April. Uh, it's uh, been a good month, really, because I only have one dislike in this video. Now, you know, we, we don't necessarily love everything, uh, but only the things that we really, really loved make it in this video or only the things that we detested. So the one thing that we detested you all if you watch all of our videos will probably already know this is chamberlain coffee cinnamon bun latte now i only put this one in the video but we reviewed four honestly all four of them could be here yeah, I, we I'm, like it I'm just showing you this one can to represent all of them uh all of the uh, lattes they were all horrible horrible and i did put a note on here but i don't need a note I, I wrote very bitter raw cinnamon very strong coffee not sweet um um i wrote all from this brand are terrible yes they are all but of these lattes the problem with the the canned drinks like that is they're made to be on the go straight out of the it, can it says on so the go. um so it doesn't have any sweetener no cream or anything like that and i think i even said if you like a very dark black coffee you may like these but for us it's just it's just very bitter strong coffee it was terrible yeah it it well it only has one gram of sugar yeah but uh, i didn't put any sweetener in yeah i mean it it they're just terrible yeah. absolutely terrible unless and you just really like a black coffee i wouldn't get them i would never uh go and the to, cinnamon wasn't to this either. company for my coffee yeah. that that is not my and kevin likes I like regular dark, coffee. I, I like mean, somewhat dark coffee. Too. I don't mind regular coffee either. Now, I, I do drink flavored coffees, but I mean, th these are just terrible. And I, I heard from a lot of people, um, especially on Instagram, and they're like, this is awful. Just awful. Over and over again, how horrible it is. Yeah, I, I agree with you. It's pretty bad. Um, so then we have a candy bar from Malcolm. Malcolm sent us this all the way from Wales. Mm -hmm. um, the uh, I found out though the candy bars are actually from Australia. Oh, that's uh, yeah, cool. I thought that was cool too. And uh, people were leaving uh, comments saying that because they are from Australia, the place to go in the UK for the specialty Australian Cadbury bars is B and M. So you, if you have a B and M and you want to get some, and I'm sure if you live there, you already know this. Um, I'm not telling you anything you don't know, um, but you can find the specialty Cadbury bar. So this was a boysenberry ripple, and we both really enjoyed mm -hmm. yeah, it. Yeah, I put it in the drawer and ate it. The rest of it just over a couple of days. Mm -hmm. we'll put it in a Ziploc bag. Mm -hmm. So that was from Malcolm, and then Austin and Amanda in Wisconsin. They sent us uh, three different kinds of caramel corn, and this was our favorite. This is the L. Francis Company, and we really enjoyed that caramel corn. And then they also sent us some snow on the mountain um, from Hughes' Homemade uh, Chocolates. And I have tried to uh, uh, show you these, talk about these whenever I can, because it's a really, it's a small company in Wisconsin, but it's absolutely wonderful chocolates. And um, this snow on the mountain, it, it, it was like a, it had pecan and caramel, but it had, a, and chocolate, but it had like a vanilla, the snow on top, which made it different. Mm -hmm. And so those were just wonderful. And the box was full. It's very good. Now, uh, I have a bunch of drinks. I'm just gonna show you all of them, uh, all at one time. So this one is the C4, the Arctic Snow Zone. Snow cone. Snow um, zone. <laughs> I like snow uh, zone. Snow cone. It's a it's an energy drink, so it has caffeine in it. So this one was really good. And these are just regular non-energy drinks. This one is the Gross Gus, uh, the Pirate Piss. Um, it was banana, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Yeah, banana soda. Um, that was good. And then we have the. Do I have any more of the gross? No, okay. we don't have any. Uh, this gross. one is Australian style hot ginger ale, which you wouldn't think that would be good. It was really good. It was a a, a good spicy mm. ginger drink. Uh, Pennsylvania Dutch birch beer. Birch beer, really good. Don't want to knock these over. Um, the John Wayne root beer. And the Fair Fawcett. I mean, how could you not like anything, Fair Fawcett? Fair Fawcett cream soda was excellent as well. All the bottles came from Jungle Gems International Market. Mm -hmm. yeah. and, uh, the C4, who knows? 
Yeah, I, I, um, I love going in there, and I've, I've said it before, anytime we do those drink reviews, I love going in there and looking at all the drinks, because uh, we really don't have that um, selection. selection. Yeah, you, we don't have any store that sells that selection, except Cracker Barrel, but they're so expensive. Cracker Barrel is very expensive, and World Market does sell some. A few, we but tried them all. It would be cool if some store, uh, if they would just decide, hey, we're going to start selling this stuff, because... Yeah. Uh, people will come just for the drinks. Mm -hmm. uh, oh yeah, there's always people at Jungle Gyms like backed up getting drinks. Because it's fun. It well, is and, so fun. And usually they'll tell their kids, you know, okay, um, you get two each, you know, or or we're gonna fill Even up this, one. We're yeah. gonna fill up the six packs, and mm -hmm. you get to pick one. I get to pick one, and you know, it's, mm -hmm. it's just they have fun doing. It's it. a lot of fun, yeah. and and if you don't mind drinking after other members of your family, uh, then you know you could or try, glass. try, but yeah, try. But I'm thinking if they're on a car trip. Oh, yeah. You could try different different yeah. drinks. Um, so then... Um, but those were just some of our favorites. We tried a bunch, yeah. and they were all pretty decent, but those were our favorites. Uh, William sent us some spuds from Tennessee. This is the Irish pub style. I loved these. These were like a, um onion, a spring they onion. They were very good. They were excellent. And he also sent us these uh, spuds, Nutty Caramel Craze flavored popcorn. What's so funny, and I said this during both videos, is that William got these in Tennessee, but we we don't get them in Kentucky, and they're made in Kentucky. Spuds yeah, is not a that Kentucky far away, brand. Actually. Yeah, Spuds. I think they're in Louisville, Louisville right? Yeah. Louisville, Kentucky. So it's a Kentucky brand, and he got them there and and mailed them back to Kentucky, which I find really funny. But we appreciate him sending us that because we love them. Um, this one is the Magnolia Bakery Banana Pudding Cookie. That was excellent. Um, had a really good flavor to it. The we like the banana cookie, banana pudding cookies better than we did the actual banana. The pudding. banana pudding. Yeah. <laughs> this one is the classic vanilla cookie. Yeah, I would never. If you, I know they have an option on Gold Belly to order uh, Magnolia Bakery pudding. I wouldn't do it. Yeah. I wouldn't. They were just kind of. They didn't really meet the southern expectation of no, banana pudding. No, they don't. But those cookies. The cookies do. are excellent. Cookies are very good. Uh, this is the uh, Liebert. Uh, Liebert, we did a review on a big Liebert chocolate uh, box. egg yeah, and yeah. then uh, for Easter and then they saw the video and they were just really grateful and, and so they sent us a box of, of uh, more of their treats. It is a stellar brand mm -hmm. of chocolate, and they're just now hazelnut. Getting, they're just now getting over in the U.S. market so, so if you see them you should try them. Yes, really absolutely. That's a name to remember. Um, this is uh, Dibble Dough. Um, this one is a chocolate chip, sugar cookie. And uh, peanut, peanut butter. butter. Um, peanut butter chocolate chip. These were excellent. They, the, the texture was mm -hmm. what won us over more than anything. And then the flavor also backed it up. Mm -hmm. But they had that kind of like a gritty. crumbly, gritty, mm -hmm. sugary kind of texture. They were just really, really good. And you can get it at Walmart. Yes, yes. And you're just going to have to know that... You need to eat it slow or it's going to be gone in just a couple bites yeah, because it, of that put texture. Put it on a plate and cut it in pieces. That might sound silly, but yeah. I, I'm just telling you, this will go quicker than yeah. a candy bar. Yeah, I it like will. I like to drag things out as long as possible, and that, that's the way to do it is cut, yeah. them, cut them up into pieces. But for all three, those are the only three flavors we know of. They're all three in this review. They were excellent. good. Yeah. Uh, Warhead's Wedgies, which, what a name, a wedgie. Uh, give me a wedgie. Uh, this is pink lemonade and cherry limeade and watermelon punch. These were all really nice. Mm -hmm. uh, Warheads, usually you think of them as being like ultra, ultra sour. Uh, these were not like that at all. They had a nice texture, great flavors, everything. I would buy a bag of those. Yeah, the flavors are really good and the texture was excellent. Mm -hmm. so, uh, this one is the um, chocolate, 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 milk chocolate happy birthday truffle candy bar. That was really, really good. I don't remember where we bought it at. I think... World Market? I mean, uh, Fresh I Market? I think we bought that at Jungle Jams. Oh, okay. Although... It was I, really good. They sell the chocolate, chocolate, chocolate uh, at a bunch of different places. We could have bought it at World Market. Either World Market or Jungle Jams, because I have seen that brand at World Market. But we have a bunch of stuff in here from Jungle Jams, all those right. drinks. So we could have been Jungle Jams, because they sell those too. Yeah. So it could have been either one of those. Well, it was good. It's the mm -hmm. birthday, happy birthday truffle. Excellent. Excellent flavor, texture, had everything. Uh, this was sent to us from Frankfurt, and this will probably not surprise anybody that it's in the favorites video. This is the Kellogg's Rice Krispies Marshmallow Flavored Candy Bar. 
Um, the reason it, it probably won't surprise anybody is because I think it was just in last month's video in the favorites. Yeah, uh, we had the eggs. They had the uh, well, we had the eggs, but they also sent us the bunny the rabbit, big bunny, yeah. the big, the flat bunny rabbit. But it was marshmallow flavored, so it's not like a white confection. Mm -hmm. It actually tastes like marshmallow. Yeah. So yeah, they and, did it right. And then they had the eggs too, which are the eggs were good, but they weren't as good as the bar and the bunny. Yeah, I I really really love this. Mm -hmm. Um, so and just just know that it does not taste like a white chocolate or white it's, confection. It's or it is marshmallow, and it is absolutely wonderful. Very, You'll want to eat the whole thing. <laughs> um, you want me to keep going from back and forth? Uh, sure. Um, these are the new Intamins. This is the chocolate chip and brownie cookie sandwich cookies, ice cream sandwiches. You have to be careful when you buy these boxes because some of them have the exact same name. They just look different. So just look on. This is the one that has like the chocolate chip cookie on one side and like the little the brownie. brownie on the bottom mm -hmm. with the vanilla ice cream or extra caramel ice cream in it. No, that no one, this one is just they the do have a caramel, they have which, one caramel, which the caramel ice cream is really good. Really good those. too. Actually, yeah. all these were pretty decent. Um, uh, you did not like the donut because they were tasted, crunchy. Yeah, I didn't like the texture of it more than anything. But the flavors are okay. Yeah. But I loved the texture of the glazed donut one. I liked That's it. That's right. I remember the but texture I, of the cookie itself. I didn't eat the ice cream. I just ate the cookies. Yeah. The ice cream so, and these are really I good. I like too. the cookies. But yeah, this was I our like favorite. Cookies. This was our favorite mm -hmm. one, the chocolate chip and brownie, because it had a little bit of both. It was right. really good. Uh, this is a And at Walmart, by the way. Yes, Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's uh, PB and C snack duo. These are funny. These are uh, crispy cocoa cream filled wafer sticks with peanut butter dip. Mm -hmm. So these are really good. They are for one package of these. If, 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 well, you could see what they look like. It's like getting the package of, of cheese dip. Yeah, these are pure with the crackers. Of peanut butter. Though. Right. So one package of these is 310 calories. So Kevin and I did the review and we absolutely loved them. But it's like 310 calories. I know, even though I love them and I'm going to put it in favorites, it's not something I can eat all the time. So I gave the rest of them to our daughter. I gave them to Ashley. And uh, she tried them and she said, next time you're at Trader buy Joe's, buy me some more. So last time we were at Trader Joe's, I bought her two more boxes yeah. of these. She loves them. Because she'll take those for like lunch. She, I mean, yeah, she's she'll a eat teacher and, and she's at school all day or, or she's, she's, she's busy. She's very, very busy uh, going here and there. And so this is something good for her to have. Mm -hmm. And she doesn't mind that they're 310 calories because she is on the go and on her feet all the time. Uh, so these were perfect. Were good. But if you like the chocolate and peanut butter, it, it's really nice, yeah. and those are nice and, and yeah, crispy. crispy. They had a little yeah. filling of chocolate on the inside. But not really hard. Nice. Yeah. Um, this one is the Panera Bread Everything Seasoned Cheese Crisp Baked and Seasoned Parmesan Cheese. So they're basically those little uh, baked cheese snacks, but they've got yes. everything bagel seasoning on them. They're real popular, I think, with keto. Yeah, because I could see that because there's no um, there's no carbs in mm -hmm. cheese. I don't we know. got those. Well, there's three grams, but then you have to calculate it out however they do that. So. Do you remember where we got those? Because no. you're the one that spotted I've them, not me. I don't remember. Jungle Jams. Oh, okay. Because we have not seen I them here. I haven't seen them since. No, we have um, not seen them here. But they actually you, have them on, a, on macaroni and cheese on the picture on the back. <laughs> wouldn't you expect to see those like up in the produce department? Where they, they sell croutons and salad stuff is where I would think. Well, okay, but you're but, talking about that aisle. But in the department where they sell those salads on top, maybe they sometimes. put stuff like sometimes, that. Sometimes, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I would expect to, but we haven't seen them anyway. Yeah. Well, so. Walmart and Kroger, they both kind of keep them up near the produce area sometimes. They do. Yeah. But then you also have them in the aisle. And they have the aisle with the croutons and dressing. With, yeah, and stuff. exactly. So, yeah. So anyway, we haven't seen them since, but they're excellent. Uh, we have... Can't beat fried cheese, I mean, really. The Sa Saber Smiths, these are made in the United Kingdom. Uh, but we found them at Home Goods, I think. Yeah, uh, I think that was a Home Goods. I cut it. Pretty sure um, it was, because Tuesday th morning closed down, so... Yeah, uh, Somerset Cheddar and Shallot Flavor Potato Chips. These were awesome. Mm -hmm. Absolutely love these. Would buy them again and again. Uh, they were just, uh, they're luxurious hand cooked British chips with style. Uh, you can find this brand at the Fresh Market, but I don't know if they have this flavor. You just have to look. Do they have those at World Market as well? Or am I thinking of a different one? I think of a different no, one. No, 
They uh, they, they might have, have some of those. Of those. I'm they thinking may. of a different brand. They probably. may have some of those. Uh, these are the Pop Gourmet Hidden Valley, the original ranch wavy potato chips. Literally just finished the last of these last night. Because <laughs> I would eat a little bowl full of them every night for a snack. Uh, these are really good. They're, they're not a hard potato chip, but they have a really good ranch flavor. Almost more sour cream and onion flavor than mm -hmm. ranch. But but if you like a good sour cream and onion flavor, these are really, really good. Do you good. remember where we bought those? Nope, nope. nope. <laughs> I, I know this one was a local store. It was Cracker Barrel. Yeah, I knew it was local. And that's what sucks about it, is we've only seen those. Usually the Pop Gourmet, we've reviewed their popcorn before. Right. Well, who knew they could do such an awesome job on potato yep. chips? Well, we've only seen them at Cracker Barrel. We've probably paid a lot of money for Hopefully. them, too. But, say, but they need to be selling those at the grocery store. Yeah, those are I don't know why they haven't good. worked out something with, yeah, because they are very, very good. Yes. Okay, I have some Milk Bar Crunchies. These are the Vanilla Butter Crunch Cookies. Now, if you didn't watch the video, Milk Bar has other cookies. They have, they come in, it looks like a milk carton. It's a real cute packaging, but they're soft cookies. Honestly, they're not all that great. They're just not. Okay. They also have some... I think they call them like truffle and they sell them in the cold department mm -hmm. like at Kroger yeah. and they come in little packages of two. They're okay. Yeah, they're, they're just okay. okay. Their ice cream is really good though. The ice cream is excellent. So they, they really, really know their ice cream. If you have not tried Milk Bar ice cream, try They're all good. More stores are starting to sell it now. So you might see that they're, um, it looks like this. That's what the cartons look like. Um, but these cookies are, you cannot compare these crunchies. There were four that we tried in the video. These do not compare to their other ones no, at all. They're so much better. Just buy these. These are small and they're what they say. They're crunchy and they just have such a good flavor. Mm -hmm. They really did a good job yeah, with these. Yeah, all of them were good. Mm -hmm. I mean, like every flavor they have was really good. Yes. Like okay, I've got two more and these are the same brand, so you can hold that up. Uh, these are cons. I have the sweet mesquite barbecue, and you have the Hawaiian sweet onion. I um, love Hawaiian. These are really onion. these are really good chips, and the mm -hmm. uh, the barbecue was really good. The onion flavor was really good out of these. The textures were really good on the chips. They're just really good chips. Do you remember where we got? No, I don't remember where we buy anything. <laughs> I love testing his memory. No, I have no well, idea. let me give you a hint. They're made in Columbus, Ohio. Jungle Gems. Jungle Gems. <laughs> we we uh, were only able to buy these because uh, we went to Jungle Gems and they were there. We, I would love to see this brand That's right, because I remember us saying that we they need to start moving them down yeah, south. Yeah, they did, because they're, they're really, really good potato good chips. chips. They'd, give, they, uh, they'd give Lay's a run for their money. They would. Bit. They're very, very good potato mm -hmm. chips. Okay, now I have three of these and you have two. Oh, these? Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. Cafe Panna ice cream. This is the uh, these are the, that's all I have. That's all I have. <laughs> you want to save the, the containers? No. They're plastic containers, though. They're not. You could save the containers if you if you needed to. We yeah. just didn't if you need were to put leftovers or something, you could do that. Okay, so uh, I have the poppin, which <coughs> does you no good. <coughs> Excuse me. It is. Um, Vanilla ice cream with strawberry jam mm, those and fudge filled and frosted handmade pop tarts. That's what it was. That's but why it's called popping. The reason this made my favorite is because of just the strawberry yeah, jam. The strawberry was awesome. Oh my gosh, it was absolutely phenomenal. Yeah. I and, like this one the best. And then um, I'll tell you my favorite of all of them last. Okay, so there's one of them. Another favorite is Secret Scout. Yep, that was excellent. Um, it is, it's like the Girl Scout cookie, the Samoa. It is salted co uh, coconut ice cream, dark chocolate, stracciatella, coconut, caramel swirl, coconut graham crunch, Girl Scout cookie, pint topper and bottomer. And then my favorite of all the Cafe Panda that we've ever had is this Twister. Twister I would get all the time. What was that one? Fresh strawberries and panna ice cream rippled with strawberry compote and layered with house-made white chocolate pretzel bar. Huh, yeah, I remember that. This, it was in the first group yep. of Cafe Panna that we got. And really good. I have not been the same <laughs> since I had been this. Wanting more of it. It's wonderful. It's like, I realize I'm running down because this, well, you talk about yours. I like, I think I like the, the 
the coconut one the, the uh secret scout yeah okay. um this one is the cookies and clusters you have to read what's in it though cookies and clusters oreo and black cocoa infused ice cream with dark chocolate shards cookies and cream clusters and our signature oreo swirl yeah, it was excellent and this the s'mores the 2023 s'mores the new one it is graham cracker infused ice cream with calabal chocolate chunks Crispy marshmallows, house-made graham crunch, and fudgy marshmallow swirl. Yeah. Um, the, my second was, I think, the s'mores one. It seems like the s'mores was The really s'mores really 2023 good. version. Um, these have ruined me because um, they are so full of mix-ins. Tons. Sometimes they're too much. Uh, Kevin has said There's that. a couple of times. A, just a I have never said that. So if Cafe Pana sees this somehow, I've never thought they, I mean, there was bring it on. one specific one that was too full. Never. Never for That's me. Much. You couldn't I am an over It was all the everything top. else. <laughs> I'm an over the top, overindulge. <laughs> <laughs> just that's just I like me. The ice cream too, though. And um, I just I'm I'm spoiled now. And this there we go. isn't cheap. No. And you have to have it shipped. And you get it from Gold Belly is where you get it from. And so um, we've ordered the one before the. I don't remember what the first collection was called. It was um, Arctic or something with the cold. Maybe maybe it was Arctic. Anyway, so they had like this Arctic pack. And then they've come out with the spring pack, so we got that one. So um, if I uh, somehow miss when the summer com pack comes out, feel free to send me a comment and let me know because I don't want to miss the summer pack because now I'm spoiled rotten and I, I want to try it. Um, awesome, awesome ice cream, though. Um, you you can't go wrong ordering it, no, really, it's because really it's so full of It is sense. expensive, but it's, it's definitely worth the money. Yes. So now we have a fat and weird cookies. Our favorite was the party animal. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a soft almond sugar cookie base swirled with an overload of confetti sprinkles packed with frosted animal cookies and stuffed with animal cracker frosting. Yeah, it was good. We really enjoyed that. And so what I, I showed you this cookie, I'm also gonna, the, the last things that I have to talk about are more cookies. The thing, the only bad thing about me talking about these cookies is the cookies that were our favorites, you probably won't be able to get. Well, and, unless they come back unless around. Unless they come back around. But, I, um, you know, I can just let you know what we liked. So, with the Fat and Weird, they might offer that all the time. I don't know. The Party Animal. I do not know. Um, then we have um, Kai Kai's Cookies. Uh, these are, this is a, co a company from, um, Canada, but it wasn't bad. The shipping wasn't bad. It really wasn't. Uh, we had the Luscious Lemon Sammy, which was a sandwich cookie. Then we had, uh, this was a peanut butter egg Sammy. And then this one was a s'mores. So, uh, this is one of those cookie companies where they rotate flavors and, um, we ordered a bunch that were special for Easter, right. so there's no telling what you'll be able to see if you go to their uh, website now. I don't know what they're going to be offering. And then, let me just go ahead and get my last yep, one. I only have one more thing. I only have a card to show you. Uh, Life's a Batch. Uh, Life's a Batch, we, we had those. Uh, we tried them uh, in last, last month. We also tried them again this month. Um, it's not something that I can, uh, that we can afford to get all the time yeah, because it's expensive. It, it's expensive. When we order from Life's a Batch, it's usually, it's close to a hundred dollars. Um, and that's with shipping and everything. It's close to a hundred dollars for 10 cookies. And so they're excellent. They're, mm -hmm. they're very, very good, but it's just like, so they change flavors all the time. So if you're wondering, well, why did you try these cookies and you didn't try these? Well, unless it's something I really, really want to try, then I'm not going to spend the money because it is really expensive. But this time there were lots that I wanted to try. Our favorites, uh, Kevin's favorite was the triple chocolate. And awesome. it, it looked like, to look at it, it looked like one of those... Um, Cosmic Brownies from Little Debbie. It was the same color and it had the little uh, colorful gems on it. My favorite was the Ultimate Peanut Butter. It was, it was good too. literally the best peanut butter cookie I've ever had. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if you blame any of them. 
truthfully. No. <laughs> they were all really good. Except the one with the protein. The protein one we did, like the C4 protein powder. It, it, I thought it was ghost. Oh, maybe it's ghost. It's, it was it's ghost. ghost. Yeah. It was ghost protein powder. Yeah. Uh, we did it, had a, it had a funny Right, but as long as they don't have protein powder, and somebody else said That's it. not a common thing. That was just like that one. Right, and if somebody else commented. Actually, I had the comment several times, and I thought it was really a good idea. If you're going to offer a protein powder, offer the exact same cookie. Without the protein. Without, for yeah. people who don't like that's true. protein. Yeah, that's true. That's a good idea. I like that. I mean, that. they could expand their lineup, but let me just say, it's hard to get a hold of these cookies. Yes. They sell out quickly. They sell out very, So very you fast. have to be, when they announce their cookies, you have to be on the website when they come out, order them, and be done. Yeah. Because if you even wait five or ten minutes, they're gone. half of them are gone. They're gone. All of them. That's yeah. the only frustrating part. Yeah, that's the only negative to this yeah. is there's just not enough cookies. There's enough. not enough. And um, yeah. other people have said the same thing. Yes. So, yeah. So yeah. It's not, not just like me. that's a secret or that's no. how we feel. No. It's how it's, a lot of people feel. Yes. That's a good thing when your product is so popular though. We're telling you you need to make more because more people want them. Yes. Um, you can so, expand. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. So the last thing we have is the, the really creamy Tillamook. Uh, this is a Neapolitan. A Napoleon, as I used to call it. That like, that one sounds boring after, after the cafe paint. But it was excellent. The <laughs> it was good. Was good. Uh, it, it was really good. The, yeah. Every flavor in there was good. I think we both liked the strawberry the best. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But it, this one's a new flavor for them, too. Yeah. So. It, it's really good quality ice cream. And it's sealed. The containers are mm -hmm. sealed. You know, you get them in the grocery store. And so. it's chocolate, vanilla, and strawberry, just in case you didn't know what, what Neapolitan, Neapolitan was. was. Okay, so Kevin has a lunchtime review mm -hmm. channel, completely separate YouTube channel from this one. Uh, so if you've never checked it out, please do. It's growing all the time. Uh, so we appreciate it very much. Uh, four days a week, Kevin reviews something that's shelf stable or frozen or something like that. Mm -hmm. And then one day a week on Thursdays. Or refrigerator. Uh, yeah, refrigerator. One day a week, you'll get a video of some place there where he goes out to eat. Mm -hmm. um, so a fast food place. Sometimes it's a, a. Haven't you done curbside from a sit down oh, restaurant? Yeah. Yeah, I've done yeah. Rafferty's and Logan's. And yeah, so you just, Logan's, you, but a couple of them. You never know what you're gonna get on yeah. Thursday. Cracker Barrel. I've had Cracker Barrel. Cracker before. Barrel. Yeah, you love that deep fried turkey. The turkey's <laughs> awesome. I've gotten it twice. I think. Okay, so. So these are the meals I do during the re the regular meals during the, week, during the week. Excuse me, hiccup. Um, this one is a Whole Foods. Whole Foods in their deli area where they where you can get like the meats and chicken and sushi and all that kind of stuff. They have, if you never noticed, they have a little shelf of refrigerated uh, meals that you can buy. They're already in little plastic packages with a lid on them and they're wrapped in this little paper slate. It's around the area where they have the pizza. Yeah, pizza is right the there. The sushi is like right above it, I think. That's yeah. why I say the sushi, it's right yeah. above it. Uh, it's a little cooler, it's a little flat thing. It's really not very big. You may even miss it if you're not looking for it. I tried a bunch of them. They were all pretty decent, but this was the best one. It was the black pepper beef. There's the name of it. You probably can't see it. But anyway, it's a black pepper beef. Um, I gave it a 4.5 out of 5. Um, I said it was great uh, peppers and onion flavor, and but it was a little spicy. So if you didn't like spicy food, you probably wouldn't like it. But I liked the little kick of spice in it, and it was like a, it was kind of like a Salisbury steak kind of thing where it had the peppers and onions in it, it just didn't have the tomato sauce as much. It was really good. As long as you don't mind paying that price. Because yeah, it was. I think that's the same price as the meals from Omaha State. Yeah, let me just say, I'd rather get those. But the Whole Foods is better. Whole Foods, that's what I'm saying. I'd rather yeah. get the Whole Food ones than the Omaha Steaks mm -hmm. because, first of all, it's fresher. So you, you do have to watch the date because the date will expire quicker. Uh, the Omaha Steaks just really didn't impress me on. Honestly, none of them really. We didn't. would not order they, anything they from them, them again. Especially the meals. I don't know about Nothing. their meat products and stuff, but mm -hmm. their meals, I, I wouldn't do those. Uh, this one is the Home Chef. This is actually a Kroger brand uh, ready-made meal. This one is the, the Italian style lasagna with meat sauce. It was excellent. Uh, I gave it a four and a half, and it was just really good lasagna. So if you like lasagna, it was very, very good. And this one is a Sam's Club, and it, I saved this big, huge package, but it's basically <laughs> Member's Mark Rotisserie Chicken Salad. There's the label right there. Um, I gave it a, a five out of five. It's seventeen dollars and ten cents, but it was a huge. It was a huge tub. Huge. I mean, you could take that to a picnic and have for a beer. Mm -hmm. But I liked it because not only what did it have good flavors, the chicken was kind of chunky. You can tell they had just kind of like um, pulled it apart. It wasn't like ground up. 
I hate chicken salad that's really ground up really fine because it's almost like you're eating sand, you know? Yeah. Think about ham salad we've had in the past. Uh-uh. It's disgusting. Plus it's pink. Who wants to eat pink, pink, pasty stuff? Anyway, mm. I've had chicken salad the same way. It's ground up so fine it does not have a good it's texture. It's kind of like uh, comparing the uh, different chilies. Like chili with that ground. Uh, um, Skyline um, chili and Gold Star chili both have uh, really finely ground beef. Yes, ground that's beef. not how we uh, like our small. chili. Yeah. I, like, I like hunks of We ground want beef. hunks of, ham, of uh, ground beef. Of ground beef. Yeah. yeah. But the Sam's Club is really good. Any of those three we were good, but the Sam's Club, if you happen to have a Sam's Club membership and you get it, it's really, really good. Cause they, I, it, I just ate it on Ritz crackers. It was excellent. They offer that all the time. Yeah, I would assume so. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So I'm assuming they take their rotisserie chicken that didn't sell. Like the, the hot chickens, oh. I would think, I'm guessing, I don't know. that they take the leftovers that didn't sell by a certain date, they take them and chop them up or pull them apart and put them in this, I guess. Well, we don't know. I don't if know. If you work at Sam's Club, you can give us Yeah, you can let us know. Where, where do those come from? We love hearing stuff yeah. like that. Okay, so I always ask Kevin, like I said, he posts a fast food review or whatever out to eat video on Thursdays is when they go up. So on the 6th, there were four Thursdays in um, April. And on the 6th, you had a Little Caesars pepperoni pizza stuffed pretzel crust with cheese sauce, mm -hmm. which this video was funny. If you watched it, there was a blooper. Uh, you, you made the thumbnail and... Oh. I put the wrong picture on it. He put, well, he had the right pizza. Yeah, I had the picture. The, I put the logo of the restaurant wrong. Yes. Instead of saying Little Caesars on it, it said Papa John's. Did it say Papa? Yeah, that's right. Yes. And so I'm pretty sure that same picture is at the end of the video. I can't change it. It's in that video forever. For, forever. It's forever going to say Papa I just John's. drugged the wrong picture over when I'd made it. Kevin makes the thumbnails. And so it's, uh, it's like, you know, it whatever. is what it is. Uh, we're human, right? Uh, on the 13th, you had Arby's King's Hawaiian Sweet Heat Beef and Brisket Sandwich. You had the loaded fries. And you had a Reese's Peanut Butter Cookie. I didn't get any of that. Um, on the 20th, you had Firehouse Subs. You had the smoking Triple Stack Sandwich. Mm -hmm. And then on the 27th, you had the Popeye's Shrimp Tackle Box and a Strawberry Biscuit. Um, so, my, the, the Popeye's Shrimp Tackle Box, it was just shrimp. I mean, you could go buy frozen popcorn shrimp and bake it in the oven and it'd be just as good. Right. Seriously. And you didn't think much of that strawberry. And either. the strawberry biscuit didn't have enough strawberry in it. They, they needed to do, it was a biscuit that had little pieces of strawberry in it, but it wasn't enough to make any difference. Well, I mean, you could taste it, but it wasn't enough. Did you taste the glaze? The sweet glaze? It was sweet. That was it. Mm. That's really the only thing I had going for it. They needed to, and I said it during the video, they needed to put um, the strawberry glaze, like just the red strawberry glaze. They needed to squirt a little bit on there or something needed to be done to increase the strawberry flavor. I don't think it's good enough to buy. I just don't think it's worth it. Uh, their fries are really good though. The yeah. fries were kind of like Rowley's fries. They're really good and fresh. I would say if they're not fresh, they wouldn't be as good though. I've had them when they're not as fresh as not, what he got yeah, and they not have not been as good. Uh, my second place, my second to last place would have been the Little Caesars, the pepperoni pizza. That's the pretzel crust is really what you're going for. It made a little bit of difference, but not much. I mean, it was a little bit chewier than a regular crust, but I, I thought just, you really liked. It. I really liked it, but it really didn't make a huge, huge, huge difference. And uh, they gave me the cheese stuffed crust by accident. I didn't ask for the cheese stuffed crust. I think I would have liked it better if it hadn't had the cheese in it, because I would have then got more of the pretzel, which I probably would have had a better opinion of it. You know what, though, you say that, but you had all kinds of comments that said you got lucky because you would have paid like two or three more dollars for that. I and would have. Like oh, it's yeah. more, it's definitely it's more, more expensive. expensive. But I think if you're wanting the pretzel texture and the flavor, I think you would rather just have the regular crust mm -hmm. because you're you're missing a lot of. It's just the outside of the crust is pretzel at that point. So you're not really getting a lot of it. It was good. Don't get me wrong. It was very, very good. But it wasn't as good as the Arby's and the Firehouse. Because honestly, both of those are pretty equal in my mind. Um, if you have a Firehouse in your area and you haven't had the triple stack, go get it. It's awesome. Um, if you got an Arby's and you haven't tried that sweet heat, it's awesome as well. So either one of those would be I've never awesome. had a bad sandwich from Firehouse Subs. Mm -hmm. Never. Well, very few from Arby's, honestly. Yeah. I mean, it's it's always just they, they make really, really they good do. sub sandwiches. And it was really good. And they... Um, they were quick this time because um, usually you stand, there's a long line. You're always waiting in line. I could order it 
on the app, but I just never think about it. Um, I was in line, but as we're walking up in line, the girl standing behind the counter says, what are you going to order? What kind of sandwich are you going to order? So you tell her and she goes ahead and starts it and then you pay order and pay for it. And then they just attach that to your order. So she's getting it started quicker than the slowdown is the cashier, not the baking. Right. And they only have one person on the cash register. So it slows things down. Right. So, but the, uh, the loaded fries from, were good. They were like, from they, Arby's. I could see them getting very soggy though. Um, and the Reese's peanut butter cookie, they, they zap it in the microwave and it's warm and falls apart. Kevin said that was a good, it was a cookie. good cookie. Yeah. It was, it was truly on par. I hate to say this. It was on par with crumble cookie. It was that good. <laughs> it was that good. It was awesome. I like crumble cookies, but that was a freaking you, good cookie. <laughs> yeah. Well, for Kevin to say that, it must be it really was very good. That peanut butter must be it really good. It was very good. good peanut butter and had plenty of chocolate in it too. So it was really good. So either one of the Arby's or the Smoke at other firehouse, either one of those would be good. The Popeyes, unless you're just out and want shrimp then you could get it but like i said you, you're just as well off cooking at home right and the, and the little caesars it was good i mean it was good and if you know the pickup system for the the automated Listen, pickup thing if you missed that video kevin talks about it or i had forgotten that i mean it was something uh to hear kevin talk about how he had to get his pizza um, well, it wouldn't be bad if you knew yeah, or you had somebody working there to tell you. <laughs> normally, if he goes or if we go, uh, then we'll just go through the drive-thru, right? But he actually went in this Well, it said time, to go in. And because you had ordered it ahead, right? I ordered it on the app. And I guess you could pick pick up at the window or come in. And I, I guess I'd pick come in because I thought that'd be fit faster. But they have this new procedure now. It sounds like a mailbox. It's kind of like a little pizza mailbox, yeah. Uh, and, and it was just terrible because, well, the person working there was apparently incapable of having an intelligent conversation. Yeah, he didn't hardly say anything. And then, uh, because he refused <laughs> he to tell Kevin what to do. Had the pizza in his hand, looked at me and went, and <laughs> stuck it, it in, in the, the little box. box. I'm Kevin's like, like what you could have just given it to me. Yeah. You know, yeah. whatever. So anyway, that was just, that was, it's like, if you don't know, you don't know. I mean, how, how are you supposed to know about it? Yeah, because I'm looking around like, why did he stick my pizza in this little magic box? I mean, why, why, did, why did he do that? Is he locking it up for some reason? I mean, was it bad, you know? This is a gang. Yeah. You have to figure out how to get it out of the box. Yeah. And Kevin ended up asking another customer. Yeah. That's Because the they walked up and used it. It's like, oh, where did you get the code? Because yeah. I didn't even have the code Because the anything. guy working there was not going to help him whatsoever. Yeah. She goes, oh, you get an email. I was like, oh, okay. So I looked at my email. It hadn't come through yet because it had just been... Uh, approved it but I have not I've said during a vlog before I have not been impressed with our little Caesars anyway no. because we tried way back somebody wanted me to try their brownies and they came out with two different flavors of brownies and they we had the the ad I literally have the ad where they were offering both brownies at one time what if you order online you could get both you brownies. could get both brownies every time we would go out there we tried to go twice they refused to sell us both brownies. Yeah, you could get one, but not the other. You could get one, but not the other one. You couldn't get them both at, at one time. It's like, what is, what's wrong with But them? now they still advertise both flavors. So but you could I, probably get them now, but I, we refuse to do it. I refuse to do it now. At this point, it's like, no, because I don't want you to tell me no one more time. Right. You know, fool me once. Uh, uh, what what is it? Fool me once, shame on me. Fool me twice, or fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. How does that saying go? You still got me all turned around. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I ain't going back. <laughs> <laughs> That's the bottom line. I don't care how the saying goes. I'm not going back. I learned my lesson. I went twice. I got turned down twice. That's like asking for somebody for a date. They turn you down twice. Then you just quit asking. So I'm not going to try the brownies from Little Caesars. That's the moral of that story. So, of course, some people would say if you keep asking for a date sooner or later, they might say yes. So bug the hell out of them. I don't agree with that. But, you know. <laughs> I don't agree with it at all. I think at, at that point you need to leave them alone. Yeah, move on. Move on. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed the video. If any of these sound interesting, if you want to hear Kevin's rant about Little Caesars, then go watch it wasn't that a video. Rant. It was a comment. It was just he was frustrated. He was very frustrated. He was frustrated. So, uh, but I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.